How's it going, Savage Life family? In this video, we're going to be talking about if Ethereum Classic is ever going to be changing their mining algorithm and what exactly is SHA-3. So definitely stick around, smash the like, and subscribe for some resourceful information. I'm going to break it down as easy as I possibly can for the average listener. So ladies and gentlemen, there has been a proposal, and this proposal was made in 2019 of January by Alexander Sankoff, who was the primary champion of the proposal where they wanted to replace the current Ethereum Classic proof of work mining algorithm with the EVM standard Kachak 256. Now, Kachak 256 is otherwise known as SHA-3, with plenty of similar features that we are going to go over. But first, you have to understand this, and I'm going to be comparing it hand in hand with Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin currently uses SHA-256 mining algorithm, and this mining algorithm was created by the NSA, the National Security Agency, and published by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. Now, this was published back in 2001, and since 2002, it became a federal standard for information processing. Now, SHA-256, which is what Bitcoin is still currently using, is the implementation of the SHA-2 standard with a 256 bits key. Now, people think just because SHA-3, 3 comes after 2, SHA-3 is just a better version of SHA-2, but that's not the case. SHA just pretty much stands for Security Hashing algorithm so it's not going to quote unquote be hand in hand similar in that way now the reason proof of work is so secure is the fact that it keeps decentralization now it keeps the decentralization factor because if you compare proof of work to a mining algorithm like proof of stake the more money you have, the more coins you have, the more voting power you have. But that's not the case for proof of work. It's just the more hashing power you have on the blockchain, the more money that you'll make. It doesn't give you any higher voting governance. It just gives you more money at the end of the day. Now, proof of work is so secure for the reason being that it makes it computationally expensive to reverse and attack. We all know back in early 2020, as well as 2019, multiple 51% attacks were experienced for Ethereum Classic. While as that is due to the reason being that the Ethereum Classic hash rate was extremely low. Very little mining activity going on on Ethereum Classic and there was very little nodes in comparison to today, which we have above 200, 300 nodes currently running. Now with that, it makes it prone to attack. Currently, the hash rate has been the highest that it has ever been at 27 dashes on the network per second. Let me go ahead and pull it up so you can clearly see it. Now this hash rate has been sustained for the past couple of months, which means a lot of miners are migrating over from other proof of work mining algorithms that allow GPUs and it is rising the security and the stability of the network. So ladies and gentlemen, this proposal was made back in 2019. Alex Sankov has been working on this proposal for nearly two years now, but eventually he has disappeared and stepped out. The old champion stepped down saying that he was too busy to handle this proposal. So they elected a new champion of the ECIP 1049, who is named Bob Summerwell. Now you all must know Bob Summerwell if you are invested in Ethereum Classic. And if you didn't know who he is, he is currently the head honcho at ETC Cooperative, which handles a lot of the development that we are seeing on Ethereum Classic on the back end regarding security on the network. Now what you guys have to understand, what is the key differences between SHA-3 and SHA-2 that Bitcoin is currently using? Now SHA-3 is more resistant to length extension attacks, making it a lot more secure than SHA-2. Now, performance-wise, 
SHA-2 functions generally have higher performance than the SHA-3 functions, and partly for this reason, it was due to the fact that of the paranoia and political reasons in the SHA-3 design process. Now, SHA-256 or SHA-2 outputs a 256-bit hash, where SHA-3 allows outputs of 224-bit, 256, 384-bit, and 512. So the logic is very simple. The amount of money invested in ETH hardware is significant. There is a lot of money being poured into GPUs because a lot of people mine Ethereum for revenue to pay rent, to pay mortgage, to make side income. But now that Ethereum is moving over to proof of stake, they don't need those miners anymore because they're going to have validators. So where is all these individuals with hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in this GPU and mining hardware going to go because they can no longer mine Ethereum. So there is a couple of choices and currently the most profitable to mine is Ethereum. But once they disappear off to proof of stake, next on the list is going to be Fyro. Now, if you guys don't know what Fyro is, it is Zcoin who has rebranded as Fyro. After that, we have Ethereum Classic and Raymond Coin. But what is the key differences between these three coins here? As you can see, Fyro has a market cap of 49 million. Raymond Coin has a market cap of 569 million. Ethereum Classic has a market cap of 5 billion. So with that huge amount of market cap, they're able to withstand the selling pressure that's going to come from a lot of these GPU miners coming over from Ethereum. For an example, market cap is how much money is poured into the crypto. So if a cryptocurrency has $10 in its market cap and I own half of that market cap, I own $5 for an example. Let's say I take my $5 out of the market cap by selling completely off the coin. What then happens? Since 50% of the market cap fell off, we're going to see a 50% drop off in price. Same thing goes for a lot of these coins. Since there is $5 billion into the market cap, it's going to take significant selling pressure to drop it lower and lower in price. So Ethereum Classic is more able to sustain that selling pressure, making it a much easier and much more attractive choice for these miners who are trying to make revenue and actual money. Now, what SHA-3 does is it changes the mining algorithm and it will no longer need GPUs. Now, as you can see, if we take a look at this list, what makes Bitcoin so secure is the huge hash rate that Bitcoin currently carries, making it pretty much unattackable at this point because of how expensive it will be. Why is that? It's because they have an ASIC intensive mining algo, which is SHA-2 and which is what SHA-3 is going to be. ASICs do carry the problem of centralization because who are buying these ASICs? ASICs are 20 to $30,000 machines. $10,000 if you're able to get a magnificent deal and nobody has that money lying around so majority of these huge conglomerate corporations and companies are the ones who are going to be mining Ethereum Classic creating that centralization but in the same time it's going to be drastically increasing security and stability making it most likely the most secure proof of work coin after Bitcoin it may even be more secure than Bitcoin at a certain point because it's resistance to length extension attacks. So where do I side and where do I stand with this? Now, this is a huge opportunity for us regarding Ethereum Classic. Why is that? Because since Ethereum is moving over to proof of stake, you want those miners to come in. You want the community to grow. You want Ethereum Classic to expand. So I feel like it's still a bit too early to change the mining algorithm because it's not really needed at this point since Ethereum Classic has been the most secure it's ever been this year since the past prior years. Now, as time goes on, probably a year or two passes 
and we grow in both market cap, development, ecosystem, and community, then I believe will be the time to switch over to Shock 3, which is the new mining algorithm standard. So you guys go ahead and let me know where you stand. Of course, there is biased opinions on both sides. Why is that? Because there are miners who just want to use Ethereum Classic as a cash cow and profit, and they don't really care about increasing security, increasing stability, or the ecosystem expanding. Whereas on Shock 3 side, they don't care about the community growing, popularity growing for Ethereum Classic. They just want it to be secure as soon as possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. I hope they help. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.